Hello uh, subscribers and fans on YouTube and the internet. This is Dennis John Seatsma, Homestead, Florida, United States of America. Today's video log is about working on the uh, brakes on my 1994 Chevrolet Astrovan LT EXT that I bought new in 94. And I'm an avocado farmer and tropical fruits, mangoes, uh, lychees, uh, black sapote and carambola, otherwise known as star fruit or star apples. Anyway, I'm trying to fix the brakes on this van. They went out. I need to get this vehicle back into service as immediately. I decided though, since I'm in this deep, to replace the hydro boost, not turbo boost, hydro boost that was leaking and caused the failure. Uh, I lost all of my power steering fluid from the hydro boost leak. I've ordered a remanufactured unit from Napa. It'll be in a few days. Uh, I went to Napa today and I got my rear brake shoes and the rear brake cylinder. I'm not doing both wheels because I need to get this back into service right away. So I'm just going to do the one that was leaking on the passenger side. And uh, I have a spare ABS unit that was the original that has a good electric motor. I desperately wanted to test the electric motor on this one, but I couldn't get the electric, uh, the connector loose, the electrical connector. Couldn't get it loose no matter how hard I tried. So I said to hell with it, I'm gonna bench test it. But to bench test it, I have to get it out of the vehicle, which requires dealing with all these hydraulic lines. But I wanted to point out this high, big circled one that was on the left, this smaller one was on the right. You got to get those out of the way uh, to, to get the other connectors. And you start with the outboard ones because they're the easiest ones to get to using this 14 millimeter crow's foot or whatever the hell that thing's called. Uh, and I, I couldn't get these fittings loose without this gizmo here that I have a set of it would have been impossible to break those lines loose with a standard 14 millimeter wrench. Once they're cracked loose, I use a 14 millimeter to uh, loosen or tighten the rest of the way. But I'm doing this video so I know the sequence, which is to start with the outboard ones, the two outboard ones on left and right, and then you move to these, these spiraled ones, which are on the left, get those out of the way so then you have room to do the remaining two or three, uh, which are all 14 millimeter, I believe. And then you got four big bolts that hold it, the ABS to the uh, bracket that comes down from the hydro boost. So you could do this work, uh, I think, with the hydro boost installed, but you got a lot more room without it, and I'm replacing it anyway. And I could have rebuilt the Hydro Boost myself. The only thing ever goes wrong with those are like an O-ring inside. But it would take me more time than I have. And I really don't try to trust make, having to do this two or three times if I make mistakes. So I bought one from Napa, remanufactured one, and it'll be in in a day or two. They said they had to send away to Texas for it. And they, they charged me freight on top of their online price. So I never had to do that before where normally the price is the price. But anyway, um, I think they're getting the rebuilt unit from a company called Cardone or Car One. I'm not sure which one is, Car One or Cardone in uh, Texas, Cardone, Texas. Anyway, I could be wrong, so post a comment and I hope you enjoy my video. This is uh, the segment for today, which is October 11, 2021. And uh, this is where I'm at. I'm going to pull the ABS out, going to bench test it, put the best one back in, and then do the hydro boost. And the power, uh, I have a new master cylinder and hopefully get this thing back into service. I hate having a vehicle out of service. I hate uh, half finished projects. I absolutely detest them because I always worry about who will finish it if I can't for some reason. And I've had some medical issues where I went blind in one eye and I couldn't work for months because of eye surgery. So 
fortunately they were able to re reattach the retina and that was way back in 2008 so but things happen and uh, if you're a professional mechanic or shop owner make make your living while you can buddy because you never know what might stop you from working uh, like when I went blind in one eye anyway enjoy the video